Hi students, welcome to the session on time varying potential. Fine, so this is very very important topic. This is the fundamental and uh, this is the thing we have to know before we study antenna paper, right? Why it is important, let us see now, right? So in chapter 2 and 3, we studied about uh, electric field and magnetic field, right? And uh, in chapter 4, see here uh, it is independent of time. That's what we have done. Right? Then uh, Faraday came into picture and he relates uh, both the electric field and magnetic field in terms of time. Similarly, Maxwell has done some very good work. What is that? Say as far Faraday's law, del cross E is equal to minus 2B by 2T. Maxwell's Ampere Maxwell's law states del cross H is equal to JC plus uh, 2D by 2T. Here, we didn't uh, we have here we have studied del cross e is equal to 0 right and uh, del cross h is equal to j right so this is independent of time this is time dependent fine so here the electric field and uh, magnetic field are independent of time that's what we got these equations and uh, it is time varying electric field this is time varying magnetic field because you see this electric field is varying with respect to time. The changing magnetic field induces change in electric field. Here, change in uh, electric field induces change in magnetic field, right? So, here you see the magnetic field varies with respect to time. This is what uh, you see time varying magnetic field B is equal to mu h, right? So, that's what time varying magnetic field D is equal to epsilon e. So, this is time varying electric field right so if it is uh, if both magnetic field and electric field are constant are not varying with respect to time then what will happen it will become a constant then uh, this will be zero so del cross e is zero and delta h is del cross h is equal to jc right if uh, d and uh, uh, b are independent of time then what will happen they become constant so it will happen del cross h is equal to j and uh, del cross e will be 0, right? This we have studied. And uh, one more thing we have to remember is it is uh, difficult to work with the uh, field. That's why we went to uh, potential because field is a uh, vector quantity whereas potential is a scalar quantity, right? So from potential, we can find field. So what is the better way, uh, better approach in electromagnetism is First, relate your source to potential. From potential, you find field. That, that should be the better approach to learn, uh, understand the electromagnetic field concept. So, if you for electrostatics, source is a charge, potential is kq by r, k and r are constant. So, who is the source of uh, potential? Q is the charge, is the source of potential. From V you find E electric field E is equal to minus del V, right? Similarly, here you find what is the source current element ideal from current element you find del cross, uh, sorry. Mm. We have uh, A vector magnetic potential, right? From that we find B is equal to del cross A, right? So this is a good, good approach, right? That approach we are going to follow. Similarly, this, these two potential are, uh, you see, both uh, V and A are independent of time, right? So, V, scalar electric potential, A, vector magnetic potential, both are independent of time. Yes or no? So, similarly, like uh, for a time uh, electric field, the static electric field, we found uh, what is the nature of time varying electric field and magnetic field. Similarly, for uh, these potential are static, are not varying with respect to time. So, there should be a potential which should be varying with the time. That's what we are going to see in this class. That is time varying electric potential and magnetic potential. Right? So, time varying V and A. That we are going to learn in this session. Right? So, let us see what we have to do. So, hope you understand why we are learning potential because it is easy to work with the potential. From potential, you find a field. Okay. So, for static electromagnetic field, we know that uh, V is equal to 
ரோ வி டிவி பை ஃபோர் பை எப்சிலான் ஆர் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் வால்யூம் சார்ஜ் சரி இட்ஸ் நாட் அ சம்திங் ஆர் வி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு கே கியூ பை ஆர் ஆர் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் அவர் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த சோர்ஸ் அண்ட் அப்சர்வேஷன் பாயிண்ட் கே இஸ் ஒன் பை ஃபோர் பை எப்சிலான் ஆர் ஆர் Q is equal to rho v dv for volume charge. That's what I have written here, right? Similarly, vector magnetic potential, this and all we studied already. So, I go fast. Mu j uh, dv by 4 pi r. These things we studied, right? So, and also we studied about uh, if uh, magnetic field is a uh, solenoidal field, that is del dot b is equal to 0. This will give b is equal to del cross a right so this is vector magnetic potential a is a vector magnetic potential v is a scalar electric potential fine this and all we know now we go for derivation right so from this is let us take this equation number one from here our derivation starts right we know as per uh, faraday's lay uh, faraday's law del cross e is equal to minus do v by do t If you substitute uh, uh, 1 into 1 into implies del cross E is equal to minus dou by dou T, B is del cross A. Fine. So if you bring uh, right hand side to left hand side, uh, what will happen is del cross E plus uh, dou A by dou T is equal to 0. Right. So, del cross something is, some vector is 0. What is that? So, we have already known one uh, vector identity. Del cross uh, minus del V is equal to 0. Why? Del cross is nothing but curl. Del V is gradient. Gradient is a vector. Curl of gradient is always 0. Hope you remember this identity. Use that. So, it is curl of something. So, it must be a gradient. Okay, so E plus uh, uh, dou A by dou T must be a gradient, gradient of some scalar. So, uh, let us take minus del V as that scalar. Okay, so E plus dou A by dou T is equal to minus del V. This implies uh, E is equal to minus del V minus uh, dou A by T. This is very, very, very important equation. Fine. So, here you see the electric field. Electric field is a, electric field is represented in terms of both the potential. What is that? One is this scalar electric potential. This is vector magnetic potential. Right. So, E depends on uh, V and A. So it is very difficult to work with this type of equation. Let me segregate electric field. At, let me relate electric field with electric potential and magnetic field with magnetic potential. That will make my analysis very simple. Right? So here electric field is related to time varying magnetic potential but not related to time varying electric potential. Moreover, what is the problem with this equation? Here Electric field is related to magnetic source and electric source. That is also critical to work at the same time. So what I have to do, I have to relate electric field with time varying electric potential, magnetic field with time varying magnetic potential. That should be my aim. Let me do that. Right. So, so please remember this equation number 1, B is equal to del cross A. This is equation number 3. Okay. Fine. So now, we will do some extra manipulation to know that, uh, to segregate this, right? So, what is the problem with this equation? E is depending on both electric field and the magnetic field source, right? So, that is hard to work. So, we do some more manipulation. Let us, we know that uh, gas law is given by delta D is equal to rho V by epsilon. Fine. So, what we are going to do is we take... Uh, Right. So, this is equal to this one. Substitute E value here. What will happen? This 4, sub 3 in 4. 3 in 4. If you substitute, what will happen? Instead of E substitute, then it will be uh, minus uh, del squared V 
minus dou by dou t instead of e you substitute here dou by dou t del dot a that is equal to rho v by epsilon fine so this will give one of the most beautiful equation del squared v plus uh, dou by dou t into del dot a vector is equal to minus rho v by epsilon fine so let us call this equation number five right so this is one one sort of equation now we go to another one right from one we know that uh, uh, b is equal to del cross a right take a curl on both sides so del cross del cross a is equal to del cross b i just uh, exchanges del cross del cross a is equal to del cross b i did fine so what i am going to do here is uh, i know that b is equal to what is that mu h so b is equal to mu h mu is a constant i take it outside del cross h fine so and uh, from maxwell's theorem we know that uh, uh, del cross h is equal to what j plus dou d by dou t this is ampere maxwell law substitute that so what will happen mu into j plus dou d by dou t that will give mu j plus d is equal to epsilon e so mu epsilon do e by do t fine so this is mu j mu j plus mu epsilon do by do t already we found the e value here what is e value you see e is equal to minus del v minus do uh, do a by do t so substitute that that is equation number three so what will happen that will be e is nothing but minus del v minus do a by do t from three okay this has come fine so if you simplify what will happen mu j is equal to minus mu epsilon uh, del do v by do t fine uh, and uh, minus mu epsilon uh, do squared a by do t square right that is equal to what this is equal to del cross del cross a so that is equal to del cross del cross a vector fine okay and we know one vector identity del cross del cross a vector is equal to del into del dot a fine minus a del squared a vector right so instead of uh, this del cross del cross a substitute here so del into del dot uh, a so i simply what i do is i i write like this del squared a minus del into del dot a fine so what will happen you see if it is del squared a minus del into del dot a this is plus minus means i multiply everything by minus so here i have to multiply everyone by minus so minus mu j plus uh, mu epsilon del into dou v by dou t plus uh, mu epsilon uh, dou squared a by do t square right so here we choose uh, what we have to choose choose del dot a is equal to minus mu epsilon do v by do t right so here we are choosing uh, del is equal to minus mu epsilon do v by do t why we are choosing uh, del, is equal, del dot a is equal to minus mu epsilon dou v by dou t you know the reason like soon very soon right so we are choosing like this this equation you see it is a beautiful equation right what is the beauty of this equation you see here it is a 
electric potential you see here it is magnetic potential right so this relates electric potential with the magnetic potential find this equation is known as lorentz condition for potential lorentz condition for potential or lorentz gauge condition this is very very important to our question also lorentz gauge condition fine so you see it relates uh, scalar potential scalar electric potential to vector magnetic potential fine okay now you see now we substitute this equation here del dot a is equal to minus mu epsilon do v by do t here you see substitute del dot a is equal to minus do v by do t here what will happen it will become my, uh, minus minus of minus plus plus mu epsilon uh, del into do v by do t del into del dot a do v by do t so plus mu epsilon here also plus mu epsilon do v by do t so these two will be cancelled right what will happen is uh, we get that del squared a is equal to minus mu j plus right that will come so that will this will give del squared a is equal to minus uh, mu j and plus mu epsilon do squared a by do t square you see here del squared a is equal to minus mu j plus mu epsilon do squared a by do t square now if you simplify that you see del squared a vector is equal minus mu epsilon uh, do squared a by do t square that is equal to minus mu j fine this is one of the most beautiful equation right so this is a, let us assume this is equation number a right then what we have to do here also we see and another one equation we have is uh, uh, where is that uh, that equation already we have done no del squared a you see you remember this equation uh, here already uh, here also we have uh, del dot a lorentz uh, apply lorentz gauge condition here so what do, what will happen del squared v plus do by do t what is lorentz gauge condition del dot a is equal to minus mu epsilon do v by do t yes or no uh, that is equal to minus rho v by epsilon i apply lorentz gauge condition in the scalar you see what will happen del squared v minus mu epsilon do squared v by do t squared that is equal to minus rho v by epsilon so what i get if i apply all's gauge condition for potential in scalar potential i get del squared v fine minus mu epsilon do squared v by do t squared that is equal to minus rho v by epsilon how i, I how i got this i substituted uh, lorentz gauge condition let us assume this is uh, uh, here, what is the equation number here? It is uh, okay. This is equation number. So this is equation number five. Let us assume this is equation number six, right? I substituted six in five. I got this, right? So substitute uh, six in five. That implies this one. Here you see this is the wonderful equation. Why this is the wonderful equation? You see. Here fully, uh, what do you call, you see vector magnetic potential, vector magnetic potential, who is the source of magnetic field current. So what this equation relates is vector potential and its source. Similarly, you see here scalar potential, electric potential, scalar potential and what is the scalar is potential, is what is the source? charge rho v charge density so it is relating so this is a beautiful equations right so these equations what is that thing they are uh, relating these two equations relate uh, you see another one important thing for that only we derived this uh, these two are relating 
you see the magnetic potential varying with respect to time electric potential varying with respect to time that's what they know we call this is a time varying potential fine so they relate time varying potential and its source so who is the source of time varying potential current density and the charge density okay so time varying potential and uh, its source wonderful equation so from this what we understand time varying uh, vector potential vector magnetic potential is created by current density same thing right so magnetic field is created by current potential is created by current density similarly electric field is created by source so electric potential is created by source time varying potential is also created by uh, charge charge density fine so not source charge so this is a beautiful equation right so what this equation does it it decouples electric potential and magnetic potential say so why we got this because we choose uh, lorentz gauge condition delta t is equal to uh, minus mu epsilon dou v by dou t why we have chosen now you remember right because this is helps to decouple electric potential and magnetic potential v and a by choosing like this only we got the equation what's the equation a and b here this equation is full of talking about magnetic field this equation is full of talking about uh, sorry magnetic potential this equation is full of talking about electric potential whereas you see already i told what is the problem the problem already we faced is uh, uh, sorry yes okay so, oh what is the thing uh, here we face one problem here you see electric field is related to both electric potential and magnetic potential it is hard to work now the equation becomes simpler right now it is easy to work because magnetic potential and electric potential are related to their original source right so moreover you see by choosing the large lorentz gauge condition delta d is equal to minus mu epsilon dou a by dou t sorry uh, dou v by dou t what we achieved is you see this equation these equations are similar to uh, wave equation right so a and b are uh, similar to are analogous to uh, wave equations right so that is a uh, another one the wave equation will look like this only right so that is uh, another one important advantage we get this uh, we get fine if you have a uh, hope you remember wave equation they are similar so wave equation is relating uh, electric field and magnetic field right here these equations relate uh, electric potential and uh, magnetic potential fine so that is a beautiful concept of uh, what you call time varying potential right so i hope uh, you understand the things clearly right so if you have any doubt uh, you can ask me in comment section i am happy to clarify all your doubts fine so thank you